Okay, so one of the things that you have to know how to do in geometry is something called translate. And uh, this falls under a bigger topic of mapping. And this would include other topics or related topics like uh, reflecting or rotating or uh, glide reflections or dilations. This is a big, big topic in geometry and in algebra. But uh, translating is actually very easy. So effectively, what this word means, it means that we're going to take a figure on the XY plane and move it to another position on the XY plane. And we'll see this in this simple example right here. Matter of fact, this is the perfect problem if you have any graph paper handy. So if you do and you want to work this problem out nice and neat, we'll grab that graph paper. All right, so what we want to do here is translate the triangle. So we're going to take this thing and map it to another position. But uh, how do we know, you know uh, where our new position is going to be? Well, you need the actual mapping or translation, and here it is. Okay, so this is pretty fancy notation, but this is actually quite easy. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a big hint, and this is probably going to be enough of a hint for those of you that don't even know how to do this. You'll be like, oh, this is very easy, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Indeed, it is. Okay, so here is our points of our triangle. So the corners are located at 4, 3, 9, 9, and 11, 3. So we're going to pick up this triangle and move it to another uh, place on the XY plane. So each of these points are going to get mapped to another set of respective points. And this is the rule to do that. Okay, so we're going to translate each point using this little rule right, uh, rule, excuse me, right here. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense, and this is enough of, enough of a clue on what to do to get the new vertices and plot the new triangle. Okay, so that is the question, and if you could figure out, of course you can't put your triangle into the comment section. That would be pretty awesome if you could, but you certainly could put in the new vertices of the translated triangle. So if you have the answer, put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just, just one second, and then of course I'll walk through step by step exactly how to do this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoyed this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so hopefully this was a really good clue. And again, what we're going to do is take each point and we're going to use this little uh, translation rule to construct new points and uh, map this triangle or move this triangle or translate this triangle to a new position. So let's going to take a look at the answer. And here it is. All right, now before I show you the triangle, let's go ahead and take a look at the translation. Matter of fact, this is pretty much uh, the full explanation of how to do this problem. But uh, I kind of want to emphasize and review some more concepts with you. So don't run away after you see the answer. Okay, so we have our three points of our original triangle, 4, 3, 9, 9, 11, 3. And we need to construct a uh, new points, right? So we're going to map these points to new positions. And we're going to follow this translation. So this means translate each point x, y. And what we're going to do is take each x coordinate and we're going to add two to get to our new uh, value, our new x uh, coordinate on our new x, y coordinate. So for, for here, this is the x uh, value of our old point. To get to our new point, we're just simply going to add two. So four plus two is six. All right, so for the y, you're going to take your old y to get to the new y. We're simply going to subtract five uh, from the original y. So here, three minus five is negative two. So 4, 3 is going to get mapped to 6, negative 2. And then, of course, we just follow the same procedure for the rest of the points of the triangle. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the translated triangle. This is a little bit hard to see, so let me kind of highlight this in blue. So the blue little triangle here is our original triangle. Okay, so the original triangle has points 4, 3, 9, 9, and 11, 3. Now, what we're going to do is map each of these points via this translation to uh, these new points, right? So 4, 3 maps to 6, negative 2, and we uh, just saw how this is done by this specific translation. And then uh, um, 11, 3, this is, you've got to be really careful here, maps to 13, negative 2, and then 9, 9 
maps to 11.4. And then, of course, we have our uh, new translated triangle right here. And again, if you had graph paper and you wanted to actually do this, you would see this play out. Okay, so again, uh, not that difficult. Hopefully you're like, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, pretty easy stuff, and it is. Uh, but here's the deal. This is an easy problem, and uh, this is a um, you know part of a bigger, broader topic in mathematics. Matter of fact, let me show you a quick, quick um, example here. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but let's suppose we have another xy um, axis, and we have a parabola, okay, which is a graph of a quadratic equation. Well, we have these things called transformations. In other words, we can do the same concept in algebra. We can move the parabola up. We can move it uh, this way. Matter of fact, we can even expand the parabola, and we can flip it upside down as well. So these ideas of mapping graphs or shifting graphs or doing things with it, that's a big part of algebra and geometry. Okay, and again, there's a lot to know. There's transformations, translations, glide reflections, uh, rotations, reflections, uh, dilations. Dilations are really cool. Uh, and I'll just tell you what this is real quick. And I'm just trying to motivate you to uh, be excited to learn algebra or start learn geometry. So let's say you have a, tr a triangle and you wanted to expand this triangle, you know, or basically zoom out uh, this triangle. So this is a dilation. You can you can zoom out, you can zoom in, and of course you have similar figures. So all these things you're guaranteed to learn and uh, know how, you must know how to do these things uh, in geometry, but they're not that difficult, but they are a lot of little things. Okay, so let's go ahead and review exactly step-by-step step, how to do this problem. All right, so I pretty much showed you the solution, but for those of you that are still a little bit confused, let's go through it. All right, so again, translation, we're going to translate the triangle, meaning that we're going to take it and pick it up and move it to another specific place. Now, uh, this notation is pretty common in geometry, this T colon XY uh, arrow. There might be other notation, but uh, typically, and there's a little bit more of a formal definition for translating, and again, I'm going to not get into all the technical little details that you need to know about you know, this broader topic of uh, reflecting, glide, re uh, glide reflections, etc. But these are things for sure that you need to understand. By the way, too, if you need help in geometry, uh, this stuff to, uh, you know, uh, that we're talking about here or other things, check out my full geometry course. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. Okay, so again... And the idea is mapping. We're going to take a point and we're going to map it to another position. And that's really the big picture when it comes to transformations or translations or rotations or dilations. And uh, it falls under this concept again called mapping. We're mapping a point from one place to another place. So how do we get our new points? Well, we just follow this rule right here, which of course is our translation. And we uh, talked about how to do that. All right, but that's going to be your first step. What you want to do is take a look at your translation and then all your points on your original graph. So here, 4, 3, 9, 9, 11, 3, for example, uh, here is our triangle. Now, I'm not showing you the um, actual uh, translated triangle, but you would say, okay, I got to translate this triangle. You would take each of these uh, uh, points and then you would come up with the new vertices, right? So do that first, get all your new vertices, and then you're going to plot these and hopefully you're going to see, you're basically going to be playing connect the dots. So you're going to have your original uh, image here, and then you're going to have your translated image, image there or whatever the case is. And you got to make sure that, hey, if your new points, and when you kind of play connect the dots here, and it turns out to be something like this, and this was your original image, then you know you uh, made an error someplace, right? Okay, so again, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and just go through this one more time. But before we do, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I can definitely use your help. Now, you know, as a math teacher, I'm only uh, super happy when I am teaching math to as many people as I possibly can. Well, actually, you know, that's not when I'm only happy, but I really love to teach math. You know, uh, math is just one of those things that a lot of people struggle with and uh, really plays, it wreaks havoc on so many people's 
um, you know, uh, confidence, you know, their, their self-confidence. They're like, I'm bad at math. I've heard this throughout so many decades. Well, people say, I'm bad at math. I can't learn math. I'm not smart enough for math. I'm not da, da, da. All this stuff is just not true. Okay. So if you've been telling yourself that you got to stop telling you, uh, telling yourself that you're bad at math or you can't learn math. Now, if you look back at your track record, and maybe you look back when you were in school, maybe it was like the 1960s or 70s or 80s. That's a long time ago. You can't judge yourself on what you uh, what you can or can't do, but a lot of people do. Okay, and I know this because I'm in contact with a lot of people, you know, uh, worldwide. By the way, this is not just a one country problem. The United States, or uh, I'm telling you, I have people all over the world. Same story. I was terrible at math, and sometimes that can happen because some math teacher told you you were bad at math. So whether it's you or you know your child or your student, you know you got to increase your self confidence because you can do this. But it requires work, and it requires great instruction. So if you need help, if you need great instruction, well, find a teacher that you like and understand. And if you like my teaching style, well, then you will love my full courses. So again, you can check those out by following the links in the dis in this description. But uh, I try to provide enough value in these YouTube videos so you can walk away learning uh, something, you know, a little bit more about math. You're like, you know what? I think this guy's right. I think I can figure this out. All right. So let's move on with the rest of this problem. And although this problem is pretty easy, again, this uh, is only one little kind of slice of the pizza of this bigger topic of translating, right? Uh, then again, this is not just in geometry. You're going to see this over and over again in algebra courses and calculus courses, you know, uh, working with graphs and moving, thing, moving graphs to other positions or interpreting graphs. It, it's very, very important skill and concepts in mathematics. Okay, so again, uh, first things first, first you're going to uh, do your uh, translating. You're going to get your new vertices, and then you're going to connect the dot. It, you connect the dots, excuse me. And so here is our image. So you don't really know how this is going to turn out. Okay. In other words, uh, you just kind of have to have some faith. So make sure you mark. You know, and this is a good uh, uh, opportunity again if you have graphing paper and color pencils because you can't confuse these vertices. Now, oftentimes it's a good idea, and I didn't do it in this problem. But oftentimes, you'll, uh, this particular triangle will be kind of uh, denoted as A, B, and C. So uh, we can say, okay, uh, translate triangle A, B, C with vertices, and then you can say A at 4, 3, etc. In other words, you would just give, be given this problem in a uh, you know written manner, and then you kind of have to plot these points and then see it. But you just got to make sure that A uh, is going to uh, map to A prime. Okay, that's the mapped image, and we call that A prime. So that is going to be, you know, the new point. And sometimes you kind of have to have faith when you plot these points out. You're like, well, this is not making sense to me. You know, especially when it comes to rotations or reflections. Okay, it gets very, very confusing. So just, you know, have faith that you're doing it right and then, you know, pl uh, connect the dots. And when you do connect the dots, you should see a pretty good uh, translated image. Now, I am speaking beyond translating right now into things like reflecting and ro uh, rotations and glide reflections because that's where this, you know, topic is kind of going. But uh, anyways, you want to develop these skills in simple problems like this. All right, so when you do that, you know, you just kind of have to have faith. And again, you know, be as neat as possible uh, so you can really, you know, have confidence in your answer. So that's why if you are studying geometry, get yourself some graph paper, use pencil or color pencil and like rulers and stuff. All right, so when you do this translation, you're going to, so for example, if you just use pencil or pen, it's going to sometimes be a little bit hard to distinguish between the image and the uh, the translated uh, translated image. So you know, if you know know kind of in advance, you could be like, all right, I'll do this triangle in blue, and maybe this triangle in green, and then you can kind of indicate movement by little arrows like that. Okay, so translating again, a, a big big topic in geometry, but you know, there's so much more, and that's why math is so much uh, fun. You know, you, you're going to learn how to do all kinds of crazy things with images like rotating them, 
And then you're going to do things like what they call glide ref uh, reflections, which is basically take an image, scoot it down this way, and then you can kind of like move it down. And then you could just like rotate an image and reflect it. So yeah, this stuff can get quite interesting very fast. But hopefully, hopefully this little video inspired you to learn some more geometry. And again, uh, you're definitely smart enough to learn all of this. So never, ever, ever feel like you can't do this. Okay. Does it require work? Yes. Does it require sometimes getting more instruction? Yes. That's all normal. Okay. But you definitely can do this. And hopefully this little video helps you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.